Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. Here at Daring Beefcake I have this Honda CRV 2012. I am going to be changing the oil and the oil filter. Um, I've got my oil here, Blueprint, that is an ADH uh, 22114 and also I'm going to be changing the air filter or at least I'm going to have a look if it needs replacing then I'll replace it. It's ADH22282. Um, but be sure to to check from wherever you buy these parts from that they actually fit your vehicle. This is a two liter uh, automatic. So sometimes uh, the manual or the slightly different engine may take slightly different parts. So just be aware of that when buying your parts don't just go by the parts i'm giving you here um but the idea here is mainly to see how we drain the oil and how we tackle the oil filter and the air filter um now the manual so looking at the manual here just make sure uh you check the for if you have a petrol car make sure you look at the petrol engine specifications uh if you have a diesel engine obviously you have to go to the diesel section which is this one here um so petrol engine oil recommended oils um scea a3 b3 a5 b5 grade 0w20 it says there um the capacity is 3.5 if you just change the oil 3.7 if you change the um the filter as well so there are um, other oil specifications that you can use here 5w30 5w40 it does say except European models but uh, without service reminder or um, it says here European models without service reminder models with service reminder um it's all giving you like 0w20 i normally use 5w30 because it just appears that uh 0w20 tends to form a lot of carbon um so they really ask you to go to choose the oil normally depending on temperature so there are some charts here that sort of show you uh what temperatures are good for the oils that you're using for example 0w30 here it can go between minus 30 and 40 um, and then you have also all of these other oils which are good for those temperatures and if you had um, warmer temperatures they ask you to go with oils that are a little bit thicker like 10w30 10w40 so 5w30 5w40 0w30 zw40 those oils are um, good for all those temperatures anyway and although i used um 5w30 um that should be fine i mean you could use one year 0w30 and the next year 5w30 just to avoid any carbon formations however it really depends where you live as well so if you live in siberia or if you live in in the middle of africa temperatures are a little bit more extreme one way or the other so you decide um well now let's uh let's get on with this again if you have a different engine size your capacities might be slightly different so check your manual or check online uh, to be sure how much oil you put luckily we have a dipstick as well which we can use and we don't want to overfill the engine or underfill the engine so i'm just going to open that for now and also i'm going to open this <coughs> that's the oil filler cup there which sometimes can go a little bit hard so just help yourself with something like a like 
that. And now I'm gonna get the car up and we're going to tackle the draining the oil and the oil filter from underneath. Um, however, our uh, air filter is sitting just here. So if you open those clips there, uh, this cover should just pop up and that's the where the filter is. I could potentially pull this filter out and as you may be able to see here that filter is, is not really that bad. I mean this car is only done 16,000 miles so it's got bits that you could say but I wouldn't really, wouldn't really change this as such yet. Um, it's it's fairly clean, so it would be a waste to just uh, put a brand new one that probably looks the same. Uh, so I'm just going to fit that back in there. So reversal of removal, fairly easy to remove as you can see, and to refit. Um, you, I might actually. It's easy for me to do it with two hands, obviously, as it would be for you. But maybe, oh, there we are. Well, if I can do it with one hand, I'm sure you guys can tackle this with two. So, in my case, no need to change the air filter. Just going to concentrate on the oil uh, filter and the drainage. So I'm going to get the car up and we'll do that from underneath. Right, get yourself an oil pan. I'm going to be using a 17 mil for the sun plug bolt. And uh, you're going to need one of these sockets here to remove the uh, oil filter. Um, and the size of that is similar to this one here. Well, this is the same size. It would be it's a 6, 65 14. 6514. Now I normally I bought this one. I use this on Toyota uh, Prius. So if you look for a Toyota Prius socket, you'll get that. And that fits perfectly on the filter. So I'm gonna use that to remove the one I have and the 17 mil for the actual some plug bolt which is sitting right there so get yourself an oil pan and crack that open you're also going to need a washer although i don't know if i have a, a washer <laughs> that size actually yeah i may have one so it should be all right but you're going to need a washer replace that and drain that oil so I'm gonna let that drain and then we're gonna tackle the filter we're sitting just there right let's prepare here so this is the washer the old one that's the one I'm gonna use the new one copper washer that fits in there just right and the size of that washer by the way it's that there is 14 by 20 by 1.5 so I actually bought an, a lot of those um, from Amazon because I obviously use them quite frequently and so that we can replace and our filter which I've already taken it out of the box if you notice it comes a little bit oiled um, so even then, I usually like to add a little bit of grease to that. You can just put a bit of your own oil of the of the oil that you're going to use for the car, or even just get a little bit of oil from there as it drips, and just add it. Whichever way you want to do it. Um, that just when we screw this back on it helps the it helps the, the seal here uh, not to get caught or damaged so it just slides nicely um, right so let me get 
what I want to do now is get the uh, filter out while the other while that is dripping we can take our filter out which is sitting just there and make sure your um, oil pan is sitting underneath as well because you're gonna get oil coming out of there and that oil that oil filter should not really be too tight because it's just uh, usually placed in by hand As I said, oil will drip from it, so just open it a little bit and let it drip. Right, so that was just dripping a little bit. Um, as you take it out, there will be some more dripping, so... this go in there but definitely do okay right so that is out and you can see that that there is a man filter actually w610 so the one I have is a blueprint Okay, so that's our filter um, housing there and uh, you can just wipe it a little bit, just make sure there's nothing, nothing on the surface of it that can cause any leaks and once you've got it wiped, you can just get your new filter and just put it in there. And if I can just line it up properly, I might be able to get it right. Okay, now it's going in. So make sure it goes in. Uh, without any resistance because then you don't want to damage the thread <laughs> um, so that's going in and I got it in tight by hand and so I'm just going to wait for that to leak a little bit more and then we can put our sunplug bolt okay I've got my sunplug here with the washer new washer we can put it back now just put it back in there by hand make sure it's going in and I was just checking the torque settings for this and it says um, well there's different uh, information out there but between 30 and 40 Newton meters uh, and one specific site was saying 39 Newton meters so I've just got my torque wrench here and I set it to 39 and we'll see uh, how that goes. Well, that's it. That's 39. <laughs> it's not a lot of force at all. Um, so, yeah, you can do it, I guess, between 35 and 40 Newton meters, and uh, you'll be just fine. And uh, also, I'm going to make sure you clean the area here, so I'm just using some brake cleaner here to rinse this area because we don't want, we just want to leave the area nice and clean as it was. You don't want any um, oil hanging around there simply because 
um, next year when you service your car uh, if you see oil here you might get confused as whether it's leaking from there or somewhere else or whatnot so it's a good uh, practice to leave the area nice and clean um, so with that said and done I'm gonna lower the car and we can uh, top up some oil okay so now it's time to top up some oil 3.7 liters for the petrol engine and um, I've got my oil here I've got 3.2 liters in here so the one I'm using is 5w30 the a3 uh, you can use A3 or B, B3, I think it said. So just double check here. A3, B3, A5, B5 or higher grade for petrol engines. So yes, don't go by, I'm using only the container for measuring purposes here. After I pour this in, I'm going to <coughs> put the um, other the other um, 0.5 in there. So after I pour my 0.5 in there, I've got 3.7 liters. Now we can uh, close this and uh, make sure that closes nicely. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you the dipstick here. And the dipstick we have uh, on this side, the minimum on this side, the maximum area. So I'm just going to quickly run the engine in once we run it for a few seconds we can check the oil there and it should um it should be at the max point uh, if you check the oil right now it should be a little bit above the max and that's because uh after you run the engine some of the oil will go into the oil filter housing right <clears throat> press the brake start the car Sounds nice and smooth. No warning lights coming up here. Engine lights, nothing like that. And then we can... You could have a look underneath, make sure there's no oil coming out, any leaks, anything like that. But, engine's running nice and sweet, nice and quiet, so. Just switch it off now and uh, I'll just get the dipstick out clean it and we'll check the quantities again okay so after you run the engine a little bit we can check the oil again um, so I'm just going to um, wipe that dipstick and then we can check the oil and see what we have okay so I just um, I just pulled it out wiped it and put it back in um, and so we can see how much oil we have here so now it's a little bit difficult to see to be fair but uh, the wet area is just around here and um, I'm pretty much happy with that that's where I wanted to be I needed to be uh, you wanted to be in this at this end after you change the oil so maybe you can just about see the shiny area so this area looks dry and the shiny bit is where the oil is <laughs> um, so um, that's pretty much it really now we can fit our dipstick back in there and we are pretty much done so having said that don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video so thank you for watching